following video is guaranteed to be terrible. Hello there, I am Flatubus Flat, and I'm going to do, um, I'm not going to do, well, I'm kind of going to do an unboxing. I'm going to be showing you the, um, what is it called? It's called an LED 60 LED macro uh, ring light. It's a light that kind of goes on the end of a DSLR, if you can see that there. It's made by a company called JSJC. Um, this stuff is cheap as chips, it's non-professional, but if you're a vlogger, a YouTuber, you, you're not somebody who's going out in the field all the time and having to ship your kit into airplanes and, um, you know, stuff like this is fine. You know, you get a lot of snobbery about kit and really you don't have to buy the really expensive stuff. That stuff is built for uh, sort of perfection. Uh, in terms of the lighting quality, it's built to be robust and to last a professional guy or, you know, years. I mean, somebody who makes a living, pays their mortgage out of making video. Um, you might do that for YouTube, but YouTube is a different sort of more domestic environment and stuff like this is absolutely perfect for that. So let's open it up and see what we've got. This is my Canon 60D um, and spoiler alert, let's have a look inside the box. What's in here? What's in here? Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, spoiler alert, I uh, I kind of opened it already. But that's okay. So what you do get is you get um the the light itself comes in in, in a little um what do they call bubble wrap bag. The boxes we don't need to worry about, we're just empty boxes now, we can throw them away. Um uh, you do get a manual, which is probably in sort of broken English, I would have thought. Uh, which gives you instructions with what to do, but really it's so scary, scarily obvious what you have to do. that Seriously, you don't need to look at the manual. So uh, this is the light itself. Uh, just to say that you need to find out what um, lens lenses your, your camera takes. Um, my hands look really burnt out there, don't they? Well, after a slight adjustment to my exposure, I can show you what you do get. You get actually um, one, two, three, four, five, and six, because I've already put a ring on my camera. These are rings, you get 58 millimeters, 62. That's a, another, that's a 52, it's a 49. And this ring here is a 55. Now the um, the millimeters is um, on on the rings. I'll just take I'll, I'll, I'll take this one off my camera. Basically, on most lenses uh, on a DSLR, you will have a ring. In fact, in all of them, you will have like a thread inside the lens hood there. And if I can show that to you, much more clearer. Um, and and the ring just kind of like screws into that. Um, it usually say around the edge. I've just put a big fingerprint on mine. 67 millimeters. So this is the 67 millimeter ring, uh, which I'm just screwing into place now. Uh, obviously, it will vary depending on what lens you're using. Uh, so this is my wide angle. This is my 10 to 18 millimeter uh, Canon lens. Um, so that's now popped on there. Um, the other, next is the light itself, uh, which I can just kind of show it to you. Um, there's nothing spectacular, spectacular about it. It's kind of mimicking like what a professional uh, light would do. It's made out of incredibly cheap plastic. Uh, I've no idea about the color temperature of the lighting. It's probably going to be all wrong. Um, these uh, four prongs around the edge house uh, a AA battery. Uh, yeah, there's the AA battery in there. You can sort of see. And, um, and that's pretty much there all is to it. There's kind of like a, a, a horseshoe shaped um, guide to slide the ring into. Uh, and here on this end here you have, um, well put it that way around, right way around. You have a, an on off switch and kind of like a variable resistor so you can fade the light brightness. Plus you have a 5 volt, interestingly. You got a 5 volt hole. Now what you don't get is a power uh, block for this. There's no way of powering it unless you make or buy your own 5 volt mains thing there. But I've popped the four batteries in, I'm happy to do that. And then all that happens after that is you would slide um, this onto the ring. Let's have a look. Like thus. And that's pretty much it. That's not really going anywhere. Now it's adding quite a lot of height to the camera. But also it creates like a natural st st step for it. You can see it's kind of resting. It sort of rests 
on, on there, which I think is quite cool how it kind of rests. I, I like that. Um, it doesn't look st too stupid. I don't think. I think it looks quite professional, although um, sometimes that's what you're combating half the time, what pe other people's opinions are. I will be, I will be taking this out and using this uh, to for a paid-for job, uh, just because I think it's quite nifty. So I'm going to flick the little switch here. There it goes, it clicks on. And you can see it gets quite bright. You see how blue it is? So it's like daylight colour. You know, it's it's it doesn't mess about. I'll put this on my face so you can sort of see what it does to the old face. And let me just sort of brighten it up. I mean, <laughs> I've actually taken some photographs with this already. I've totally cheated. This is not a, a proper unboxing at all. But um, I have used this to take some pictures. And although the colour temperature is kind of wrong, um, it does help a great deal. It creates a nice round, <laughs> as you might expect, um, amount of light around the face. It's particularly nice. You also get those nice little, uh, when you photo, if you're doing stills, uh, when you Photoshop, you've got the nice ring in the eye, reflection, reflected in the eye there, which always looks really cool. I think it really brightens the eye up. Um, in terms of shooting video, it's a constant light. It's not a flashlight. So it's like on all the time. It's, uh, you know, it's pretty cool. Let's shine it on the wall here so you can see. So there's the wall. You know, it creates like quite a nice soft, soft effect on the wall there. Dim it down, dim it up. I don't know, I think it's pretty cool. Oh, one thing I would say is that when you have uh, this attached to your camera um, and you are in video mode, you will see when you fully zoom out, this is a wide angle lens. The lens I've got on here is a 10 to 18 millimeter lens. And I, I, I've kind of zoomed in to its, its max. I'm gonna just come around here and show you. You can see, hopefully you can see, point it down at something dark. You can see that uh, that's fine, but as soon as I zoom it out, so it's at full wide, you can see how the ring has come in to the periphery vision of that shot. Now that's obviously no good. So the only restriction is that when I use this particular lens, uh, I'm gonna have a lot of problems there. Uh, I can't go full wide. There's not much point in having a wide lens on your camera if you can't use the wide capability of it. So that is something that's gonna maybe cause me problems, but I have other lenses and I will be testing it out on those as well. But I think it'll be okay in the other lenses. It's just that this lens is particularly wide. Uh, again, this is the EFS 10 to 18 millimeter uh, Canon lens. And uh, yeah, that's not great, is it? Right, well, that's it. That's, there's not really much more to tell you about it, uh, really. Um, it's a cracking little bit of kit. It's plastic. It will smash and break the moment I try and put it through any sort of working environment where you're under time pressure and kit needs to last and be chucked about to a certain extent, of course. You know, you know professionals don't smash their kit up. They look after their kit, but it doesn't have its own... Um, it's kind of just all glued together. It's cheap, low quality plastic. It's the connectors are plastic. You know, these switches will break and it won't stand the test of time, but it'll help me get through making a few videos. And if you check this out on, uh, on Amazon, it is super, super uber even uh, cheap. Or you can click a link. I'll put a link down in the description down below and you can click that. That'll be my Amazon affiliate link. It means I get a little something if, if you do decide you want to buy it. I'm not sponsored to talk about any of this kit. Um, this kit is poor quality, but for the money, you know, yeah, how can you really, really go wrong buying something like that? I don't know. I, 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 for me, it was a no-brainer. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment. Find me on Twitter if you like. I'm more than happy to have a chat. I'm at Fluctibus Flood. Thank you and goodbye.